Om Shanti. Good morning. And now we are doing the recording of 31st of July. So Supreme Godfather has a message for us over here. He wants us to become an instrument who is a humble instrument and doesn't worry about anything. Always remains lighter and leaves everything on to God and for Godly guidance. So let's see what does God have to say. But here, leaving doesn't mean that you don't action, take action. You take action and the results you leave it to God. So God says, may you be an instrument with humility and remain light by handing over all your responsibilities to the Father. So when you consider something to be your responsibility, your head becomes heavy. I have to take care of my family. I have to earn the money. I have to do this thing. I have to be spiritual powerful. I have to do some kind of service. I have to make my life better. God says, the Father is responsible and I am just an instrument in name only. This awareness makes you light. That means just you are physically present over there and God is getting things done to you. Just like you are a guitar and God is playing the guitar or the sitar, whatsoever you like. Or the flute. So you are the flute or the guitar or the instrument. Or you are the car and God is driving you. So this awareness makes you light. Therefore hand over all the small and big burdens to the Father. How will this happen? What will happen to me financially? What will happen to me physically, health-wise? What will happen to my relationships? What is going to happen to my spiritual growth? What is going to happen to me mentally and emotionally? God says, leave it up to me. That means use godly guidance and then leave it up to Him. So, therefore, hand over all the small and big burdens to the Father. The burden of your effort. The burden of His service. So, your effort maker. Every time you're trying to get up in the morning and do meditation and you're listening to the godly guidance and you're trying very hard, you're pushing yourself too hard, God says, don't do that. Live it to the Father. Have the pure, powerful thoughts. Be in alignment with yourself. Stay happy and content throughout the day and leave it to the Father. So the burden of your effort, the burden of your service, if you're serving somewhere and how will it happen? I hope they'll like it. I hope they'll get the message, sorry. You are thinking like that, that means you are not giving it to the Father. You don't have to think all those things. Giving it to the Father means God will do it. God will make them understand. God will use me as an instrument and they'll feel godly powers and godly knowledge. And then God says the burden of fulfilling your responsibilities to your connections. How will I do it? How will I take care of my family? How will I take care of my parents? How will I take care of my kid? How will I take care of my wife or husband, how will I get take care of my relatives? God says, fulfilling your responsibilities also to your connections and relationships and you will become light. So the burden of fulfilling your responsibilities to your connections and relationships and you will become light. So everything has to be given to the Father. If you have the slightest thought of, I have to do this. It's only me who can do this. I only have the intelligence to do it. I am the only one who's smart over here in the family, in this in this organization. You see these thoughts come right, so then the burden comes on to us. And the more we take it, the more other people put the responsibility on to us. Yes, yes, you can do it, go ahead, and they're smart enough to give it to you because of the ego. So they catch our ego and they try to say, okay, you do it, you're better. And then we get more burdened. So I alone can do this. This consciousness of I will make you heavy. And there won't be any humility. When you consider yourself to be an instrument, you naturally develop the virtue of humility. I'm just an instrument. If God wants to get it done for me, it will be done. If God wants to use me for this relationship to make it better, it will be done. If God wants me to take care of this family member or this relation or this friend of mine, companion, it will be done. And if God wants to use me for seva, it will be done. Why it's not coming? Why I have not been given the seva? I am smart enough. I am powerful enough. I am a yogi. I am a blessed person. I have all the knowledge. Look at them. They have been given the opportunity, not me. Uh-huh. Careful. That's where humility is gone. So God wants us to become more powerful and more humble. And that's what we learn in Brahma Kumaris to refine our mind and intellect and habits also. You too can come and learn this. Brahma Kumaris with his own shanti.